Green Innovation Centers, GIC, work mainly with smallholder farms and micro, small, and medium enterprises, MSME, to improve the agriculture and food sector since 2015 in 14 African countries, India, and Vietnam at present. To ensure the implementation of the most suitable intervention for a particular challenge, GICs continuously collect and analyze monitoring data. Since 2015, data has continued to increase exponentially. GIC recognized in 2018 the need to implement a practical solution for all team members to access and use the data on innovation, income, productivity, and business, as well as different contextual information efficiently. To achieve this, GIC started a participatory process in 2019 involving professionals from all functions. So far, there have been several different practices for collecting, analyzing, and managing data, which affected the data quality, standards, and data governance. A lack of unified processes led to delays in decision-making and reporting. To be agile and responsive to changes in the field, the digitalized m &E system was created by the steering unit to organize a harmonized process for collecting and processing data in compliance with data privacy. The new m and &E system serves as a knowledge hub, not only for m and &E specialists, but also for team leaders, communicators, technical advisors, and others. The system displays relevant information in a direct, reliable, and simple way. The digitalized m and &E system aims to support countries in learning, accountability, reporting, and directing the interventions. Our system is mainly concerned with two data sources. The first data source is the data coming from smallholder farmers and MSME through Survey Solution software. Data from the Survey Solution is derived through a mobile-based application and works offline too. The second data source is the data that comes from trainings via the AM tool. Once the country m and &E specialist starts the process of the data collection, interviews created by m and &E get assigned to either directly to interviewers or to supervisors and then interviewers. The interviewer or enumerator opens the survey with his own credentials and interviews the farmer of the enterprise. Once interviews are collected, the interviewer sends them for review to a supervisor. They monitor the incoming data to either approve or reject it. Then, interviews approved by the supervisor are directed automatically to the headquarters, country m and &E specialist, who gives the final approval for interviews. The interviews approved by headquarters are transferred to the SQL Azure database. If an interview is rejected, the interview should either be ignored or redirected by the country m and &E specialist to the supervisor or interviewer. The second data source is AM Tool, which documents all training in the country packages and participants lists. Once the AM Tool is filled by the trainer or the one responsible for it, the country m and &E specialist is responsible to approve export files before uploading to SharePoint Online. Once the AM Tool export file is uploaded, the file moves automatically to SQL Azure Database. To comply with the data protection law, during the data transfer process, personal data gets separated and the rest of the data set is assigned to the right tables for data analysis. The Azure SQL Database is organized as a relational database to automatically calculate the relevant indicators, such as productivity, income, food insecurity, business figures, employment and process quantities, among other descriptive variables. As m and &E specialist or team member, you can access the already analyzed data via the SQL database or the Power BI reports and dashboards. The new m and &E system gives you analyzed data in the form of Power BI reports and dashboards, and therefore supports you in using highly reliable data for reporting, learning, and decision-making.